In the ongoing war against terror, we have to be able to anticipate threats. The U.S. has a new weapon of defense. Ripley will be online 24-7 looking to identify our enemies. A computer that will use any tactic. Ripley walks tall and carries a very big stick. To destroy any target she thinks is a threat. There's only one problem. I just found this new gaming site. It's called Ripley. She likes to play games. Attractive, high-stakes games hidden in the darker reaches of the Internet. To trap potential terrorists. Skilled gamers exhibiting familiarity with weapons, systems, and terror tactics. Welcome, baby. Oh, she's hot. Play with me, baby. But when this innocent computer whiz... Please select your game. You have entered the dead code. Logs on to play. Please select your target area code. Philadelphia. Projected dead, 100,000. She turns his virtual war. Ripley's taking control of one of their predators, fully armed and fueled. Oops. Smart bomb with multiple low-yield warheads. Into a deadly reality. An initiating decontamination countdown. Captain's at zero. You don't want to know. Now, they've lost control. And the only way to end the game is to find the one who started it. Had a lock on him? Got him. Get the kid in here. Those decon systems, do they follow the same protocols as the game I played? The race is on. Half of the city is going to die well. Our families are there. We have to stop them. And the only way to win... I want to hack Ripley's game bot network. And what then? Ripley will have to play out the war game scenario. She either backs off or starts World War III. Is to beat her at her own game. Target acquired. Launching in five, four, three, two, one. War Games, The Dead Code.